gunfire breaks out in a quiet Norfolk neighborhood. For last night to be, it, it definitely was not an easy feeling. It, it was very uncomfortable and scary. Now neighbors are on edge as police continue their homicide investigation. And new hope in the search for a missing military dog. I really, really thought after y'all's news piece, I just knew she'd be found. A possible sighting a week after the working dog went missing. Then giving hope to those who need it most. Santa made a special early visit for these kids in Chesapeake. Live at 11, this is 13 News Now. Thanks for joining us for 13 News Now at 11. I'm Chinu Hurd. Tonight, we start with gunshots that jolted a quiet Norfolk neighborhood awake this morning. That gunfire left one man dead and another one seriously injured. 13 News Now reporter Megan Shin spoke to neighbors about the terrifying awakening. And Megan, you were there at the scene earlier today. That's right, Chinu. We were at Ivalu Street in Norfolk, and that's where this shooting happened. Take a look at this map. It's just on the other side of Norview Middle School. So neighbors say their family-friendly neighborhood never expected a shooting. Ivalu Street in Norfolk is so quiet, you can hear birds chirp. Neighbors say it's a family-friendly street. They all went to school here, grew up, started families, so it's, you know, for them it's still, you know, to walk around with a chip on their shoulder, it's not something they want to wake up to. Now the street is the center of a homicide investigation. And then all of a sudden I heard the neighbors scream. June Sherman says she lives next door to where the shooting happened, barely separated by a fence. Police found one man shot inside a car who died at the hospital. Officers then found a second man inside this house, also shot. And then a few minutes later, you know, fire trucks, ambulance, and police were everywhere. Both men are now part of the same investigation. Sherman says police knocked on her door just after two Sunday morning. That they were looking for somebody that had walked by, and my brother has a camera in the window. We were hoping that we might have caught something. With no luck getting footage, police are asking for the public's help. Sherman is new to Ivalu Street and hasn't met her next door neighbor. I'm a medical assistant, so if I would have, if I would have known if she would have knocked on the door or if anything else, I could have at least attempted to help. Neighbors say even then, everyone keeps to themselves. The only sign of a crime scene are now these black gloves left on Sherman's lawn. You know, five kids of my own, it's a, it's a scary thing to think. And the injured man found inside a house was taken to the hospital. He is expected to be okay. And police won't tell us the name of the man who died until they get in touch with his family. If you have any information on this homicide, please call Norfolk Police. Chinu, back to you. Thanks, Megan. Well, police are investigating a possible shootout in Chesapeake. People called 911 saying drivers in two cars were firing at each other. It happened on Greenbrier Parkway right across the street from the mall. Officers responded to calls around 9 last night. They couldn't find any evidence of a shooting, but a 13 News Now viewer told us her daughter was shopping in the area when she heard gunshots. Two people walked into a hospital with gunshot wounds, but we're told they did not cooperate with the investigation. And some sad news for the Hampton Roads community tonight. Philanthropist, business mogul, and co-founder of Dollar Tree, Macon Brock, has died. He was the CEO of the company from 1993 until 2003. Brock has multiple buildings named after him at his alma mater, Randolph-Macon College. He also served as the chairman of the Board of Trustees. Macon and his wife, Lindgren, were known for giving back to Hampton Roads. Brock was 75 years old. And a reminder, there's some major traffic construction going on this week. The second segment of the I-64 widening project continues today in York County. Starting tonight, there will be alternating single lane closures in both directions from Colonial Parkway to Lee Hall. A full road closure will also happen on both sides of Penniman Road at the I-64 overpass starting Monday. There will be closure at the Route 143 exits and Route 199 exits. Roads will reopen at 5 each morning. Work is expected to wrap up on Thursday. And three people are dead after a horrific accident on Route 460. You can see this car was ripped open. The driver suffered major injuries and the passenger died. The crash happened just west of Walnut Hill Road outside of Windsor. Here's a look at another one of the cars. Both the driver and passenger died in this Kia Soul. 
The driver of this Toyota Scion was wearing her seatbelt and she escaped with only minor injuries. And turning now to those devastating fires in Southern California, you can see here five fires are raging around Los Angeles, another burning closer to San Diego. And tonight, the destruction is on the rise. 800 homes and other buildings have been scorched. Hundreds of thousands have been evacuated, uh, have evacuated their homes with just minutes to spare. I had maybe, maybe 10 minutes to grab my dog, my wallet, my my glasses and get the hell out of there really breaks your heart i can't tell you how much it, it's terrible and the largest of the fire is still only 15 percent contained making unforgettable holiday memories Hi. santa delivers more presents to these sick children in chesapeake then this this might be a chance and we're willing to take it. Organizers calling in the reinforcement to find a missing military dog one week into the search, but they're still not giving up hope. A possible glimmer of hope in the search for a retired military dog. This is Darja. She went missing last weekend in Portsmouth. Today, 13 News now learned there was a possible sighting in Suffolk near Bridge Road. The pup came from Mission K-9 Rescue in Texas. The organization brought Darja's brother Kilo here to help in the search. Organizers and the dog's owner Frankie are not losing hope. There's a, it's a needle in a haystack. And we, I really, really thought after y'all's news piece, I just knew she'd be found. No. We're not giving up. We'll, we'll keep plastering. We'll keep putting up the signs. Frankie won't give up. I can tell you that. Tonight, the reward for finding the missing dog is up to $2,000. You can get more information about Darja on 13newsnow.com. And now, your 13 News Now weather forecast, certified most accurate in Hampton Road. 46 Thursday, 49 Friday, 50 Saturday, and back above normal by this time next week. Hey, you said warming it, but I couldn't get my <laughs> off of Wednesday. I know. It's that, 37. Yeah, that really does stick <laughs> out, doesn't it? It really does. Yeah. All right, coming up later on the Sunday Sports Special, it was Championship Sunday in high school football. The one, the only, Brian Smith has highlights of Oscar Smith's title game with Westfield. Could three finally be a charm for the Tigers? It was an early visit from jolly old St. Nick today. Santa Claus came to Chesapeake to visit sick children. It's called the Edmark Santa Run. Chris Kringle brings the holidays to children and their families who can go out and enjoy the season. There was caroling and plenty of presents. Organizers say it's their favorite part of the holidays. It's like the highlight of the year, really. It's our favorite event. Just to see their smiles and their yeah. eyes light up. There's yeah. nothing like that. Yeah. It was a perfect surprise, and it looks like everyone was on the nice list this year. So obviously we're closer to Christmas, which means it's getting a little bit colder. And we just mentioned the 37 on Wednesday, and I That's can't right. stop thinking about that. So <laughs> That's right. Well, yeah, it, it does stick out on that seven-day forecast, you know, that big little dip there by Wednesday. Notice temperatures up Tuesday to 55 degrees. Cold front moves through Tuesday night into Wednesday, and it's going to be a cold start to the day. That first night of Hanukkah, we're looking at wind chills in the teens, 37 on Wednesday, then we're back up into 40s and 50s by the weekend. All right, that's 13 News Now at 11. The Sunday Sports Special is up next. Get headlines anytime on 13newsnow.com. Have a great night.